That's exciting. All right. So let's hop into the dancing Israelis. Okay. First off, let me ask, okay, who all knows before we did the research on this, who all knows about the dancing Israelis? I wouldn't say, no. It was new to me. And I was, I thought I was pretty well up September 11th stuff. I think I Hans heard about it once. You heard about it once? Yeah, I'm just, n- I don't know much about it. And I just thought it was just a bunch of fucking dancing people. Okay. All right. I heard about it about a year ago. That was the first time ever in my entire life I heard about it. And I made a mental note of it. And then when I knew we were going to do 9 11, I was like, oh, yeah, we got to do dancing Israelis. Oh, for sure. So. We did this deep dive into this, but what happened? What is the Dancing Israelis? So on September 11th, 2001, during the Twin Towers attack, police received several phone calls about Middle Eastern looking men that were standing on top of a white van, videotaping the Twin Towers burning while jumping up and down with joy. This is what the story revolves around. These individuals. It's a dark, deep rabbit hole that individuals rarely cover. Journalists do not touch this topic. So that, of course, is why we're covering it today. Yeah, and when I mean not touching this topic, we'll talk about how tons of articles were scrubbed from the internet. But with the internet time machine and the internet archive, you can still pull up those articles. But Mm -hmm. almost all of them were scrubbed. A lot of them on the mainstream news. So it's very interesting. So, of course, all of this starts in the morning of September 11, 2001. A New York resident. 